it's time for the succulent arrangement here to have a drink so I haven't watered this for a long 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 time and also need to clean it all up this is a cactus this cactus is called Gymnocalicium mehanovicii okay <laughs> so this cactus has been growing in this pot for the last four years and okay I'm gonna tip it out look yes it doesn't have any holes hello there my name is Liz a self-confessed succulent addict welcome to my channel growing succulents This is a beautiful Semper Vivum. This Semper Vivum or Semper Vivum, mother and chicks or hens and chicks, has been growing in this pot. Look how beautiful that is, red like burgundy. It's like really dark maroon color. So it's been growing in this pot for the last three years. It's all dry, needs to be watered, and yep, you guess it right no holes so no holes anywhere okay so this one has been growing out here in the open and of course this arrangement after cleaning it up because it was a little bit messy a while ago so it's dry and it needs some water so you can see I already cleaned up the inside of it well sort of quickly and this is quite a big arrangement and I've got a Echeveria pumila also known as Echeveria secunda, hens and chicks, mothers and chicks, because it's got lots of babies. And also I've got Sedum Morganum or jelly beans. This is just the green one. Or oh, Rubrotinctum, sorry. Morganum is boar's tail. Okay, this is Rubrotinctum or jelly beans. So the green version, and then now it's gone like all red. Look at that, beautiful. And this one is also red. What, what do you call that? Crassula ovata. Crassula ovata. I'm just looking at the spider. Look, there's a little spider there. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. Now, this is Crassula ovata. I think ladies' fingers, this one. So, this is not Gollum. So, anyway, so there's two types of Crassula. Three types of Crassula now. This is a Crassula tom -tum. Little cute one. And it's actually flowering. And look, that one is already grown from a leaf, that little sedum there. But this has been in this arrangement for almost four years. It is really, really dry, okay. There you go. So the soil, just so you say, I'm not pulling your leg or anything. So the soil is like, look at that. See, that's really dry soil. I really want to put another plant in here but I'm just going to insert something very special here. Sedevaria or Sedum Kanihini, I think this one. So I think, it's just green normally. So this, I've got my Kanihini sort of coloring up somewhere over there. But I'm just going to take this out. And this is just grown in cocoa peat, okay? So I'm going to insert my little plant here that is grown in cocoa peat and I'm just inserting it okay look I'm lifting lifting and if the leaves falls off it doesn't matter because they will grow then you'll just end up with more plants or actually I'll end up with more plants because see all those leaves falling off we throw that in there Come here, look, I'll use that little bit of granite to block you off, and that's all. Now, I'm going to water it. If you live in an apartment, or you have a small space, and you can't have anywhere to grow succulents or cactus in a pot with a hole, or you want to grow them in little cute mugs or something like that. So I have a mug that I'm attached to recently. It had a little chip, so I didn't really want to throw it away. But uh, I drill holes with it uh, in it uh, to use it for my succulents. But say, for example, I don't want to drill holes in it. I can still grow cactus and succulents in it without having to drill holes. 
just like this one here so this one has been growing in here for almost five years now actually so because i this is one of the first ones i had in 2016 and it's 2021 now so it's about four and a half years that it's been growing in this pot with no hole but then when you do water it or when i do water it how do you water a succulent or a cactus in this case which is quite um delicate in watering sense because you can overwater it here is how i water my cactus and my succulents that's grown in a pot with no holes so this one i'm just going to establish the fact that it's really really dry oh it's actually i actually forgot i watered this yesterday <laughs> There you go. So it's a little bit moist. Now this one now, I'm going to show you how to water this even though I already watered it. Okay. I'm using my seaweed solution here. So I'm just really going to saturate it. Okay. It's overflowing. That is now a lot of water. Okay. So what do you do if you have a lot of water like that? simples you get a little turkey baster so you can suck the water out or first of all you can just tip it out there you go that's much easier and then if you're worried that they're sitting in water although this plant actually this cactus here gymnocalicio mihanovicii it loves water, but of course, it doesn't like to be sitting in water. So now we have to remove the water. You can still see that there's still water pulling there. So you can't really get to the bottom of that. So what you do is you insert your turkey baster there and, okay, ready? There you go. So you just suck the water out and all the dirt. I'm just going to tip it out here because it's convenient. See, look at all the water. There you go. So ideally, you can just give it some water, but it's really difficult to tell. I know, so that's why it's best having a turkey baster. So now if I tip this over on the side, I can still see a little bit of water sort of pulling in there. So I'm going to continue sucking all the water. The muddy water. There you go. Tip it in my garden here. You get the idea, okay, until you're happy with uh, the amount of water. So in that, in this case here, oops, okay, I'm already happy with that. So that's it. Just move that and then if the soil sort of recedes like that, you can top it up and put some soil. Now this one here is the same thing. So because I've had this for a long time here now, I can already gauge how much water I need to put in. But in case I overwater it, now you know the trick. So I just use my baster. So that pumula here or secunda is really, really dry. And I water the whole thing. I mean the leaves as well. I spray them, just give them good hosing down so they're having a bath. And also I can tell from the weight how much water it has. So that's it. So this this pot here, this big pot here, I water this about four times a year. And it's always when I see that the leaves are all going soft. And that one is all going red right now because it's autumn here. But they do get afternoon sun, So, but it's in the shade. So that's also, even though it's out here, you can grow something like this indoors as long as you put it somewhere, place it somewhere near a window where it can get a lot of light. And you will have beautiful colored succulents. So it's now end of April. So you got May, June, July, August, and September. I'll see you in September when winter is gone. Oh, there you go. 
Now it's just going to sit there. Look at that beautiful. Now this baby here, the Semper Vivum or Semper Vivum, there's a little bit of opening in the corner here so I can water it from there. So normally, Semper Vivum doesn't mind being watered and they actually like being watered and even if they get bogged, they don't care. So, you can kill your Semper Vivum by not watering it. But overwatering doesn't seem to hurt them. Okay, and you can see nothing. No holes, no dripping, no whatever. And that's it, folks. And that's how you grow succulents in a pot with no holes. I need a new one. This is already 12 years old. And look, I'm already taping it to get the holes. So, and look, it's already worn out. So I need a new host lock.